Welcome back to another one. Today we're going to be talking about the push shot. And before we get into that, I just want to thank my sponsors. All right, um, Western Districts Carpet Cleaning, Society Link, Rosa Mexicana, and Health 104. Thanks again for supporting me through the uh, through this year. Um, being able to get a brand new set of balls, helped out with the uh, cost of the tournament as well, the Pogs Pro Series, and again, um, you know, any recloths that I do, it just makes my life actually a lot easier. So, and I can concentrate on doing this as well. Um, and also just practice, practice, practice when I need it and not worry about too many other things. So again, thank you my sponsors. So back to uh, what we're doing today push-ups. Uh, I'm going to run you through a few of the uh, push-ups that I, I do see happen over time. Um, I'll get to that in a minute. But for now, with, with push-ups, it's basically just, um, it's not allowed in international rules. It was allowed in world rules, but with international rules, unfortunately, it's not allowed. It's basically, a push-shot is when you hit the white ball and it hits the object ball, but then you hit the white ball again. Um, there's been a lot of scientific stuff over time when people slow down, you know, um, there's a lot of evidence saying that, you know, you're always hitting the white ball once or twice or three times if you hit it slow and all this stuff. But at the end of the day, it's what the human eye can really see. So when the balls are this close like this, for example, basically it's always going to be a push shot. Okay. Now, if the balls are actually pretty much this far apart, about, about, about a finger length, about a finger width, sorry, you can actually jack up and not be a foul. But if I jack up like this with that gap there and then the white doesn't hit the black and come backwards, it actually sort of stops or goes forward like that, it means that I've actually double hit the white and the white uh, is not obviously coming backwards. It's hit the Q-tip again and it's gone forwards. So I'll run you a few, uh, through a few examples now. So you can see with this one, Q slightly elevated, I get through the white and it comes back nicely. You will see something different here. You'll see the white ball come back and hit the Q like that. And that's what's called a push shot or a double hit. Now you'll see me play a shot and get the Q out of the way. And then on the next one, you'll see it hit the Q-tip, exactly like that. So pretty much the general rule, if it's this close, you don't want to play into it because it's going to be very hard to actually get away from the object ball. So you should always play away. So just nick off the object ball. As you'll see here, I just hit away. And there's no double kiss on the white ball. And it's a legal shot. So again, one last time, if it's ever close, don't do it. But if it's further back, like that, we're all good. So I hope you liked some of those examples. Again, um, I think it's just something that we really do need to try, try to avoid. If the white ball, in theory, is, is like I said, about a finger, width uh, apart, you might be able to, you know, get up and hit, the, and hit the white ball into the black and get the white ball away. But if it's any closer than that, more than likely you'll be pushing through and the white ball doesn't actually have enough time to actually get away from the black and your Q-tip. You're actually going to hit the black, hit the Q-tip. You might even hit the black again and push the white ball forward, you know, through, through the shot. Sort of if you're down, you might push it forward and actually you're pushing the white ball through the black. So whenever the white ball is actually close to the object ball, your best, best thing to do is, especially in international rules, with world rules, if it was this close, you could actually push through. As long as it was quick, you could push through and it was okay. All right? If you did it slow, they could foul you in a way um, just because they think they can... They think they can see you hitting it twice 
Um, in fact, sometimes you can actually hear it, but if it's ever if it's ever close like this in international rules, the moment you play anywhere near like a push shot, there's a good chance they're going to foul you. So what you need to do is you actually do need to move away from the shot and then just clip it off like that. And that's just the safest way. So the rule is a little bit open to interpretation. So, and the ref could call it on you. You know, it's not, it's not a hundred percent perfect if someone does call it on you or not, um, whether they get it right or not, because it happens very quickly. So if you're ever in, ever in a situation that the white ball and the object ball is close, just, just nick off it like that, okay? Um, because the moment, the moment you play into it, it's a foul, all right? Because you're just pushing the white ball forward. So if you wanna try and jack up like this, so that was okay, but you know, if I try that again, that was a double hit. So that was actually a foul because I double hit the white. The white hit the black and actually came back onto the Q-tip. So you can actually hear it too. Um, so again, I hope this video helped, just giving you a little, a little bit of an insight on, on a push shot and maybe what to do when the white ball and the object ball is close together. Pretty much just try and always play away because if you play into it, you're gonna get um, a foul called on you. All right, and it's something that we uh, obviously always try to avoid. So again, uh, if you've got any questions, send them through. And also, uh, you've got any other tips or um, anything you do wanna see in the future, send them through in the messages and I'll get them done just like this video. So as always, like and subscribe, share if you care. I'll see you on the next one.